Labels and laws may have changed, but lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex people have been around for a long time. And it is time you knew the importance of advocating for LGBTI rights and the discrimination LGBTI people face on a daily basis. Let's start with terminology. We told you what LGBTI stands for, but there are many terms that can define a person's sexual orientation or gender identity. Sexual orientation is who you're attracted to. You might be attracted to someone of a different gender to yours, or the same gender, more than one gender, or to no one at all. Gender identity is what you feel your sense of gender is. Some people feel like a man, others feel like a woman. Others might identify with neither or both, or somewhere on a spectrum of different gender identities. Gender is a complex social construct based on stereotyped ideas and norms. Your gender identity is yours and doesn't have to align with the sex characteristics you were born with. For transgender people, their gender identity is different from the gender they were assigned at birth. Some transgender people choose to affirm their gender identity by changing their name and pronouns like she, her, or he, him, or undergoing surgery or hormone therapy. What matters is how a person self-identifies and your respect and support of that. For some people, neither man nor woman feels like it fits. Non-binary is an umbrella term for gender identities that fall outside of just man or woman. Non-binary people might want you to use they, them pronouns. So, from LGBTI, we know lesbian, gay, and bisexual refers to sexual orientation and transgender gender identity. But what does it mean to be intersex? A person with intersex variations might have genital, chromosomal, or hormonal characteristics that do not fit neatly in binary male or female anatomies. You should always be respectful of people's sexual orientation, gender identity, and what pronouns they want to use. If you're not sure what pronouns to use, you can find a polite way to ask. So now you know the terminology. It is time you knew about the discrimination LGBTI people face. There are 64 countries around the world which have laws that criminalize homosexuality. In some countries, you can even be sentenced to death for consensual same-sex sexual acts. Many of these laws around the world were brought in by colonizers, like Section 377 from the British Penal Code, which criminalized sexual activities across the former British Empire. Section 377 is still actively harming LGBTI people across the world today. But discrimination goes beyond laws. Amnesty International Research has found Polish authorities not only inadequately protect LGBTI activists, but in some cases, they even contribute to the marginalization of people based on their sexual orientation or gender identity. And in 15 countries in Asia, we found transgender people who already face structural marginalization and discrimination further suffer disproportionately during the COVID-19 pandemic. LGBTI people encounter discrimination in many areas of their life, from family to the workplace. But activists around the world are working to fight this discrimination, and we all have a part to play in supporting them. You have probably seen and heard of Pride events, but did you know that Pride started as a protest against police brutality? Now, Pride events take place around the world, and many other forms of activism that existed before continue to fight for LGBTI rights today. While there is still work to do, these rights have seen progress in many places. Because of powerful action from activists, same-sex marriage is now legal in over 50 countries. Conversion therapy is banned in over 30 countries, meaning less people are forced into abusive therapies to try and change their identity. Many countries are taking steps to ensure legal gender recognition is possible, to support an individual's sense of gender identity. There have also been some efforts to protect the rights of persons with intersex variations. So, now you know a little more about what these commonly used words mean, the discrimination people face, and the importance of protest and activism for LGBTI rights. We hope you use what you have learned to help fight for people's rights in whatever way you can.